Good morning, welcome to Thursday. Hopefully getting the car back today. That would be good news. This has been interesting for a couple days. Uh, the torque at 3,000 RPM leaves something to be desired, shall we say. Um, looks like a pretty nice day, actually. It was supposed to be a high of like 40 and snow, they were saying most of the day today. However, it's it's 38, but it's not even 11 o'clock in the morning yet, and the sun's out, so I suppose that's not too bad. And that's not Roswan in the Impala. All right, we're back in Hudson. I just stopped at the place where the car is and talked to um, Bob for a minute. He said it's going to be ready at 2.30. It's 2.10. Uh, but I can't get there until about 3.45 or so. So I'm going to go put some gas in the smart car because I've got it down. When I got it, it had just under a half a tank in it on Monday. So I'm down to, uh, it's that digital gauge there on the bottom. You see? I'm down to less than an eighth or so, or what is that, a sixteenth, or is that an eighth? That's an eighth. So yeah, I'm gonna go fill this up. Uh, it snowed this morning. I don't know if anything's stuck here, but I know that up north, there are places with five inches, like just a few miles north. I didn't get up until 10 o'clock though, so well, I don't know what happened here. But there's plenty of leaves down, so I'm gonna go get gas, and then we're gonna get there, and boom. <laughs> yeah, it's probably about a nine gallon tank. Perfect, perfect, it's done. And I just reinstalled all the stuff. I got my handles back, license plate lights back, badge is back. He did a good job installing that. I'm happy with that, that's fine. Badges are good. Uh, I have not installed this piece of trim yet because look what I did. I broke that freaking light again. The clips on this are such crap. I wasn't even pushing on it hard. So now I gotta buy one of those. Not that I have to take that off to install it, but I'm gonna leave that down and figure out one, why it was making noise when it was up there. I may just replace it, but yeah. He did good job. Car is filthy. There's some sand coming out of it since he had to sandblast it. So um, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that. It's like 40 degrees out here. So I am gonna freeze, but it's gonna look really nice when it's done. Um, indoor it's 50, but only 35 outside. I got the car back here shortly after 3 o'clock. It is now 8.40. Um, I haven't been in the house. I'm still out here working. I got it back, washed it uh, to start with, and um, then did that, and it felt like roofing shingles. Complete sandpaper. I could file my nails down on the paint of my car. So there's paint overspray, that's how what I take it. There's, it's been in a body shop for four days. They say they leave it in all the time, so it's not outside. So it's been subjected to four days of paint in the air. So I just clayed the entire car, aside from the windows. I don't have the energy to do that. I don't know if clay strips wax or not. I'm gonna have to Google that. If it does, then I can't drive this for a few days while I build up waxes for the winter. If not, then it's pretty much good. It's nice and smooth again. Um, aside from the windows, and I don't care about the wheels now, I'll detail those in the spring. Um, and I got all the residual paint off. So I, I'm going to put that piece of trim back in the trunk, and then Rosvon and Kenan are coming over. And then hopefully I get to sit down and get something to eat, because I haven't been able to do that for hours. It's a beautiful day. Oh, 
Uh, still no wax, but I think that looks pretty good. By the way, the plate frame's staying off because winter will kill it, so it's gonna look unfinished for a while. But then when it goes back on, it'll look perfect. Because it will be. So good morning, it's 2.09. Razvan, Brad, and Kenan left a little bit ago. Got the whole cars um, clayed, everything that needed to be clayed. I didn't clay what they painted, and I didn't clay the door trimming down because it feels just like it did before. So I'm guessing it was all just paint over spray from sitting in a, in a shop, but now it's smooth as can be uh, with no wax, since clay takes wax off. So does, does this look weird? Did I even film that? Yeah. My two-car garage is now a 2.5-car garage with all of this stuff kind of piled over here, and the M5 is all the way in the corner. Like, it can't really go very much more in the corner because it's going to sit for a couple of days until I can get wax on there. I don't even want to take it outside without wax on it. I mean, I'm, I am down to 13-year-old clear coat. Who knows what kind of condition that's in. Probably decent, but whatever. So, um, very soon, like ASAP, I need to finish up my Xano products. I have very little of it left, Z5 and Z2, and just get a coat on everything just for the winter so it, it doesn't eat. Um, tomorrow, my dad's coming into town for a couple of days from San Diego, so I gotta go pick him up at the airport at nine in the morning, 9.45, I think. So I was planning on taking that. However, there's a slushy, cum slushy uh, accumulation of one inch tonight, they're saying, um, and it's not waxed. So that stays. I gotta take this up to Cleveland Hopkins tomorrow, which is like a 45 minute drive at, the, sp the speed limit on the turnpike is 70, so most people go like 80. I will be going like 50. It's gonna suck. I got the V1 in there. Took it back out of the M5. Where is it? It's on the visor. Wait, where is it? There it is. It's on the visor. I had it back in the M5 for like five hours while I clayed it. But whatever, I'm talking too long. I'm gonna go in and take a shower and I need to lay down. My lower back hurts and my legs hurt just from claying a car is a lot of work if you do it right. Oh no. I don't have my M5 keys. Oh shit. How am I gonna get inside? Good thing we have a hidden key somewhere in here. By the way, that's the key. Did I show you that? It's a weird little key. It's got the smart logo on it and then the lock, unlock, trunk release, and alarm buttons. All right, it's 2.14, I'm in the house, and I'm gonna go shower and go to bed. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow en route to the airport.